Hi, this is Dave, Roofing Done Right at 10985 12 Oaks Court here in Hampton. Um, really appreciate you calling us out to take a look at your roof here, and we want to just show you what we see going on. Um, to start, you know, some areas of your gutter have the gutter um, covers on, then there's areas where it's missing, um, and you get debris build up in there. Um, did want to point that out to you. Um, I was able to get in the attic. Um, some of the deck boards um, do look like they were compromised at one point. Um, not sure, not sure what from, but I do not think you have an active leak. I think maybe it was from the roof that was on before this one. I do not think it's the original. Um, the, the, this roof looks to be in, in decent shape yet with um, a little bit of life left in it. And I do not think that um, you're having an active leak in those areas. A couple things, you know, I am seeing that, that could prevent leaks if they would be addressed is, you know, some exposed nails. You can tell at one point those were caulked and sealed. Um, we should go over and re-caulk, reseal around all those nails. Um, as we come down here, you know, you get got a little bit more debris built up there down by the gutter. Um, get all that cleared away to be sure all the water gets flowing in there correctly. Um, there again, you're missing a few um, gutter guards and then they start back up again down through here. So, you know, it, it, it's in spots and off in spots. Um, here's your pipe boot. You can tell that that flashing is lifting. Um, definitely can get water up in underneath there. Um, would recommend reseal on that. Um, adding a rain collar around these. Um, that's just a rubber piece that slides down over top. And it's going to help seal up this rubber here to keep it from rotting out. Um, as we continue across here, you have an HVAC stack. You know, um, just to be a good idea to, to re-caulk all the nails. We put a bead of caulk around this rain collar. It's going to help prevent leaks um, and get it painted up to help prevent it from rusting further. Uh, as we continue on here, I um, did want to point out your chimney cap and what it looks like. Um, rusting pretty bad with a quite a bit of caulk um, tar stuff in and around there and that's what that looks like um, on the back here you know you have a little bit flatter of a roof um, another pipe boot would recommend the same thing be done with it you got this tree you know it wouldn't be a bad idea to be sure it's cut back um, that way it's not going to hit the shingles there and there again you have some missing gutter guards um, here on, on this side, you actually have some gutter guards that are starting to slide out down there at the end. And then you have some shingles going in underneath the gutter guards in that area. So, you know, it's kind of what we're seeing there. Um, and then finally, as we come back up here, you know, we got some more exposed nails that really should be caulked and sealed um, to prevent leaks as well. So, you know, that's what we see going on up here. I would guess that this roof is between uh, 10 and 15 years old um, and it definitely does have some life remaining in it for you so um, I don't I didn't, I didn't notice any active leaks in the attic I, I think I think the roof's doing its part in keeping the inside dry um, but we'll get you a copy of this video and sure be happy to help you where we can again I'm Dave with roofing done right thanks so much